What's up, family? So the grand old party has once again figured out a way to go even lower than their already despicable existence were. These people, and I hesitate to say people, they figured out a way to cut health care for millions of people. And on Thursday, they actually celebrated on the House floor with handshakes and fist pumps, all kind of stuff. Yeah, they were high-fiving everything, man. They were just celebrating like they had took out a foreign dictator or something. But this wasn't a foreign dictator. These were Americans they're taking out. I'm telling you, man, I don't know if some of y'all understand the magnitude of this, but you're going to have millions of people that's going to die because of what they did now. This should not come as a surprise because since the early days of the Obama administration, they've been talking about repealing Obamacare. Republicans have been saying all along, we're going to repeal it, we're going to repeal it, we're going to repeal it, and we're going to replace it. So that's what they're doing. So... I'm going to tell you, man, it, it, it's some real wicked ass people in leadership positions in America. Very wicked people. Now, they haven't really repealed the, the bill. They haven't really repealed Obamacare. They made some changes to it, but it hasn't been repealed. Um, they still, uh, they got rid of the, the whole idea of people having to, Americans having to purchase health care. So no longer do they have to purchase health care. And also insurance providers can now charge people who haven't been insured for two months or more. They can charge them extra uh, for their premiums. So... That's just a couple things off the top that I can think of. But it's cold-blooded, man. And this, and this bill is also going to deeply affect uh, special needs people. Yeah, special needs, education especially. It's going to affect big time. But they don't give a damn. And for all you people out there that's working, that's got insurance through your, through your job, it's going to affect you too. Yeah, so employee-based insurance uh, people, y'all gonna get hit hard too. This is just a, this just a, this is on this is, this is just a a speck of the 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 nonsense basically that this dude is the wrath that this dude is gonna bring on America. But some people thought it was a good idea to put him in office though. Some people thought it was a good idea. To vote for him. I don't think you put him in office. I think that Russia actually put him in office. But you did go out there and vote for him. And you are proud that he is the person that was uh, chosen. So, yeah. So, in a way, you did. You, you didn't help the situation. Now, we're talking about 24 million people that are basically going to be affected by this insurance this bill. So all of these people are going to be without insurance, but hey, do, do, do agent Orange care? Nah. He don't give a damn. As long as he and his family is okay, he don't give a damn about it. your family. I don't know why you think he does, but he don't. They don't care. This is the most unconscionable bill that has ever passed. Uh, I hope that the Senate somehow, some way, muster up some type of leadership and compassion 
and stop that damn bill. I hope some kind of way it happens. I just can't understand how people in America can be okay with not trying to look out for those who are less fortunate. I just can't, man, you, you never know what kind of position you're going to be in in life. And I'm going to tell you something. The majority of the people that got that type of mentality, they ain't really got it like that. They're not the 1%. See, if it was just the 1% alone, the 1% couldn't get shit done. The 1% has to have all the others who have hope, who has aspirations to be the 1% at some point, or to just be, to be successful. They have to have all those hundreds of millions of people to, in order to get what they really want. They gotta have all those people down for the cause. If they don't have those people, they can't get anything done. So it is those people who are living vicariously through the 1%. Are those people who are holding out hope that someday they'll be there. They're the ones who are to blame for all of this shit more than anything. They're the ones who blame to blame for putting these people in office in the first place. They're the ones. I've always failed to understand how this, this American uh, mentality is when it comes to health care. We're not talking about insurance, people. See, we're talking about health care. They're talking about insurance. I'm talking about health care. American people, the American people don't need insurance. They need health care. That's what they need. And you can't tell me the money ain't there because we find money for everything else that we want. We ain't got no shortage of money when it comes to going to war. We ain't got no shortage of money when it comes to building a football stadium, baseball stadium. We ain't got no shortage of money when it comes to going to the moon, spending money for that. We ain't got no shortage of money for none of that type of stuff. But, you know, when it comes to looking out for those uh, who are less fortunate that need you know, a hand up, not a hand out, but a hand up. We got a problem with that, a big time problem with that. I don't know, is it is it that we want to be the, we, we, we embrace the idea of being able to afford something, being able to have something that other people can't have so much that we actually relish in the suffering of other people? We okay with that? Is that what it is? We that damn sick as a society? Tell me what's going on. I can't imagine the anxiety that parents of sickly children uh, have to experience. Knowing that you uh, have health care and you have a sick child and those needs are being provided by the Affordable uh, Health Care Act. Uh, and now it's being taken away. It's being taken away simply because somebody promised that they would take it away and they knew that it could be a nice little political uh, move for them to say, yeah, you know, I'm taking it away. And also so that they can get paid, you know, from lobbyists because that's what it really boiled down to. The big insurance companies don't want affordable health care. They want to they want to hit the American people in the pocket. So it don't benefit them in their minds to have affordable health care. They want to be able to hit the American people upside the head. And people like Donald Trump and his cronies, they uh, also benefit from American people having to pay, pay too much or not being able to pay at all. Because the insurance companies, the big pharmaceuticals, they're lining their pockets with money. That's the truth, y'all. Yeah. I know some of y'all out there saying, damn, Willie, you better watch your back, man. Fuck them people, man. It is what it is. I'm riding for the people, the real people. Uh, this is a pharmaceutical uh, genocide. 
this is a form of genocide. When you have, when you take away uh, health care for people that need it, everybody needs health care. When you take that away, somebody gets sick, somebody has a, a condition and they need that assistance, they need that medical care, and you take that away, you're complicit in, in homicide. You're complicit in their death. But do these bastards care, man? They don't give a damn. They don't care. They just don't care. And, I, and for the life of me, I just cannot see how people would be okay with that. I, I cannot see why that is not an uprising in America right now. Why? Many people are going to die from this new bill. Many people are going to die. Many people. But they don't care. What a despicable, inhumane, diabolical group of people. No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Damn. Order, Texas.